camera. You're gonna be on camera. Look at you, you're famous. You're on camera, looky. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Creating Hanley. I am the Hanley at Creating Hanley, and me and Sabrina are out here inside the catio. I am actually inside the catio right as we speak. And little Sabrina here is super excited that we are outside because it is a gorgeous day. And she doesn't want to be held because she just wants to roam around. So the reason why I'm inside the catio is because I told you guys uh, about a month ago that I was, and she's shaking the camera here. Yeah, hi baby. That I was going to sew a um, a pad or some kind of um, bottom, you know, instead of just the sheet for the bottom of the catio because we're on concrete. I have, and here she is now on the perch, I have sewn these pads right here for the perches. So just to show you this one up here, all I did was take an old sheet and I uh, very roughly sewed inside. I took um, an old bath towel. So inside this, is an old bath towel that I just cut. So the dimension for this specific cat perch is 11 inches by 16. So it's 16 long by 11 deep. And so I cut the inside. I just cut up an old bath towel. Didn't have holes in, just something that was getting a little ragged. Um, and you can actually see some of the bath uh, terry cloth fibers coming through. So yeah, it, it comes through. But I have not washed this yet. So I just cut the terry cloth bath towel 11 by 16. And then I took this old flannel sheet and I um, cut it. Let's see, what did I cut it? 11 by 16 times 2 is 32, so 32 inches. I cut it a little bit bigger so I would have, um, so I would have a rough edge to cut off. But I just simply folded that over on top of the, um, you probably can't even see what I'm doing here, on top. So I just folded it on top of the terry cloth and then I sewed. So the seam is actually right here where I sewed the seam and I just top stitched it. I just did a zigzag here and then I did about an even space down here. I zigzagged that across and then just to keep everything in place I did another zigzag line just right down the middle and then on the edge to hold everything in place. Now Here's the really cool part. I got a serger. I got a serger machine. So I left this edge rough because I want to practice using my serger machine on these pieces. Now I made four of these. So this one down here is a similar stitch. Now this one looks like a little bit different pattern. I just did straight stitches here, here, and here is just straight stitches and then zigzagged here. Now this one I got a little fancy. Let me bring this over. I got a little fancy with these stitches up here. Can you see the alligator in this one? Can you see an alligator? Can you? Can you see an alligator? And then I just got a little fancy with that one and then I just did a straight line and then another zigzag. Oh, actually, this is not a zigzag. Can anybody tell me what this stitch is down here? It's not exactly perfect, but who knows what that stitch is? Tell me in the comments if you know what type of stitch that is. So I was just practicing different stitches on my uh, brother machine and um, so yeah so I made four of these and I did them all the same and I left the edges a little rough so I can practice with my serger so that is why I'm inside the catio I can only stay here a few minutes because I do have to go to work today but it is a gorgeous day and I just wanted to pop on and say hello and that we are making progress on the catio uh, floor pads now these are for the um, for the uh, perches up here. So there's one right here and there's one right behind me, right here. So the cat perches, we have four. Now there's actually six, but I didn't put the top two on because I don't want my cats to jump all the way up that high. Now when I did not have the roof on, they could actually climb out. And so that wasn't good because then I'd find my cat in the yard and I would be like, why is Sabrina in the yard? She should be in that enclosure. So anyway, she's safe inside this catio. Um, she loves being outside, but we need to keep her safe from pests and um, 
she is a black cat so you know how that goes sometimes all right folks just wanted to say a quick hello enjoy this beautiful sunshine and i will be back with more soon on the catio thanks for subscribing i appreciate all your um comments and i do read every one of them so thank you thanks for growing my channel i appreciate every every single one of you so uh until next time stay tuned we'll be back with more more projects soon bye for now